hello and welcome to a not episode of The Lonely Knitter. If you have never heard of me before and have never watched my podcast, this is probably not the video to watch. Um, <laughs> this is just a little pattern announcement-y quick chat uh, at 25 to 10 on a Thursday night. Um, yeah, I, uh, basically, I, um, look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards. Definitely didn't prep for this. <laughs> um, potty training a toddler, bear with me. Um, yeah, this is not a regular podcast or anything like that. This is just me wanting to come on and quickly talk about a pattern release. Um, I thought I would do this in video format rather than writing a post anywhere or yeah putting anything up written anywhere because um, I find it, <laughs> I say this, I, <laughs> I thought I would find it easier to just come and have a chat with me <laughs> on camera <laughs> rather than, um, rather than go and um, and write about it which would definitely take me forever this video is already taking me forever I haven't even started talking about it and I'm already over a minute and a half so basically I've written a pattern I put it up on Ravelry made it live on Tuesday night so like 48 hours ago two people have bought it considering I haven't really told you one that's out there and um, it is the pattern for these socks so these are the nest point socks i'll just show you the front of the leg because it's hard to see the pattern on um the sock blocker when they're around the right way Bit of fluff. so this is the pattern that goes down the front of the leg and then down the foot it is a simple my friend sharon um who tested it for me of the scl one tno podcast thank you sharon um uh, when she was testing it she said that it's like a vanilla pattern pattern sock <laughs> because you can memorize it quite easily we think and um none of my testers seem to have an issue with that at all and uh, every other round is just a knit, knit round stuck in a knit round so it is not a massively it's not complex at all but it creates this ridge and um, what I'm calling a wave pattern that goes all the way down the sock. And um, I took the pictures on uh, mon uh, Sunday, Sunday night, and then didn't put them on the pattern until the Monday night, and then didn't um, upload until the Tuesday night, and then I was gonna talk about them on the Wednesday morning, and then it's been a little while <laughs> since I have um, uploaded a pattern and when I used to upload my patterns before I've fallen off the uploading patterns wagon <laughs> um, I used to get a bit of anxiety and I have I know I've talked about that previously so I get panic attacks in the form of chest pains and um, I uh, start to lose my breath and lose my train of thought constantly and um, just in general start to fidget and just get uh, quite overwhelmed and I want to then not do the thing <laughs> or bury my head in the sand <laughs> and um, I've had a few pushes from some lovely friends it's just saying come on just just do it just get over it and do it and I am trying to get over it <laughs> So I posted this pattern on, on, up on Ravelry on Tuesday, it is the Nest Point Socks. If anyone wants to knit them or have a look at the pattern, I have listed them now. I will put some pictures in for you to look at. And they are up for two pounds. So the pattern is two pounds. Um, and then obviously I'm in the UK. So if you're in the UK um, and 
you, then you'll pay that on top of that, so it'll be £2.40. Um, obviously I pay that 40 pence back to Ravelry, I don't keep that. Um, but yeah, so that'd be like £2.40 if you were in the UK and then um, elsewhere you'd be charged at your VAT rate or if you're in America, I don't think you get charged. Do you? I don't think you get charged VAT at all for that. Um, so yeah, it's £2. Um, funnily enough, uh, if you've not watched my more recent videos, I have set up a Patreon account and it has three tiers, the $1, $2 and $5 tiers. And if you sign up for the two or the $5 tiers, you get all of my patterns for free. There is a code on there and you can have all of my patterns for free, every single one of the ones on Ravelry, um, just for pledging two or five dollars a month. So um, if you really wanted this sock pattern and you were interested in any of my other patterns as well, then it might be worth just nipping over to Patreon and signing up over there if you have a little bit spare every month and fancied supporting me and the podcast and enabling me to do more giveaways and you'd get entries into those giveaways. <laughs> the details are all over there. Then um, for that two or five dollars a month, you would get this pattern and access to all of my other patterns rather than just this one. So yeah, um, that's the Nest Point socks. They. <laughs> They're named after a point in, in this town, so um, I live in Lowestoft in Suffolk in the UK and it is home to Ness Point. Ness Point is the most easterly point of England and um, so it's a seaside town and you can walk along the seawall and then there is this giant, I call it a compass but I don't actually know if it is, but it's a big circle on the ground and there is a plate in the middle that says Lowestoft and most easterly point, Britain's most easterly point. And, um, and it just looks out to see there's the rock sea defences. I'm sorry if you're wobbling, you're on a box on my bed because it's um, comfort. And can you tell, <laughs> I keep <laughs> with the hands again, I have just cast off a sock. <laughs> so um, my needle, because I only have one sock needle, is totally empty. <laughs> and if you have watched this week's podcast, you will know that this is not the sock I was knitting in the podcast. So, um, haha, <laughs> finished objects. <laughs> But yeah, so I live in Lowestoft. Ness Point is um, a little point in my town. You walk along the seawall to get there and it is very peaceful. There is not often that many people there. And when my daughter was little, I used to put her in the carrier on my back in the Tula carrier and go for walks when I needed her to have a nap. Not that she was ever bad at napping anyway. Um, but we would go for a walk along the seawall and by the time we got like, 10 feet down from where I parked the car she'd be fast asleep and I would have my knitting and I'd just be sock knit like vanilla socks in my hand walking along get down to Nest Point walk around my compass come back so um when I made this sock pattern and I thought they look like waves um going across the sock I thought I'd like to name them for somewhere in my town and that is somewhere that is significant for me for sock knitting <laughs> and um and there is sort of a point that runs down the front of them, down the centre. So yeah, they are on Ravelry if anyone is interested. Um, I'm trying to get over the uh, silly, very silly anxiety um, when it comes to these because they are just fun, easy socks, I think, and my testers. Um, said that they were fun and didn't have any real issues and um, yeah there's uh, there's there's nothing wrong with them I don't think <laughs> they've been tested by quite a few people <laughs> um, so they're up now and if you are interested go and take a look I would really appreciate it and if not fair dues there are plenty of sock patterns out there or you could do a me and just knit vanilla socks until the end of time <laughs> um, yeah so I'm gonna sign off and uh, leave you to it now because I've just 10 minutes of jibber jabbering at the camera. Um, I think that was everything that I really wanted to say about the socks and about if you have noticed, because a couple of people definitely have because they bought it, the uh, delay in them, um, in them being announced. Just my brain really, not letting me, um, not quite letting me do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to leave you there. Thank you as always for making me so much less of a lonely knitter. <laughs>